Hey, what's up guys? It's Kathy Reuter and coming at you now on Wednesday afternoon. It's about 2.35. I am waiting for Landon to get out of school and just wanted to first start out by just saying thank you guys so much for all of your messages and your kind words and support and encouragement um, with the news that, you know, I just shared this morning about the miscarriage that we're going through. This is our, our third one, unfortunately, and it's it's a struggle and it's definitely not easy to go through these times in life but it just got me thinking about you know all the different things that have happened just throughout my life in general um, and it's not all good all the time there's definitely a lot of struggle and a lot of tough times and a lot of hurdles that get thrown at myself and just everybody and anybody in life that's just that's normal and so, you know, sometimes I hear people say like, oh, I wish that I could have, you know, your positive attitude about it, or I wish I could be like you, you know, and think that way, even though you're going through such a hard time. And, and here's the thing, guys, is it's not easy to choose to focus on positivity when you're going through tough times, you know? I'm thinking back to, you know, when yeah, I lost my grandfather or my husband lost both of his parents um, very early on in our marriage. And, you know, one parent he lost, you know, three months after us getting married and his other parent lost literally three and a half months before our firstborn child was born. I'm thinking about both of my dogs that I had, my very first babies that, you know, died within a five week span randomly um, for just no reason. And I'm thinking back to these three miscarriages that I've had now. And with every single struggle and hurdle that comes, it would be so much easier for me to just curl up in a ball, lay in bed, you know, cry about it forever and not want to move on and not want to go forward. That would be easier to do that. And it's okay to feel sad and it's okay to feel bad and it's okay to feel all the emotions that come with the tough times. But the truth of the matter is, is that you have to believe, and this is the only thing that gets me through these tough times in life, you have to believe that things happen in your life for a reason. And that's the only way that I'm able to move ahead and keep my eye on the future is really trusting and knowing that, for example, with these miscarriages, that the time just unfortunately was not right for me. It just was not in God's plan as much as I wanted it to be as great as I felt about it, as optimistic as I was about it, as much as I prayed, it just wasn't the right time. And I have to trust in that and believe in that and know that the right time will come when it's part of his plan, when it's meant to be. And when it's meant to be, it will be, and things will happen the way that they're supposed to happen. And it's a conscious decision that I choose now to focus on good things that are gonna make me feel well and make me feel good about myself. It wasn't easy sharing that post earlier today. It's not easy putting that out there in front of all of these people to see, but I also know that everyone on here is so supportive and so helpful, and that makes me feel better. And I also know that it's so relatable. So many people go through this thing and they never share it, and they keep it to themselves, and they battle this all on their own. And that's a tough thing to have to go through with no support. So I love being able to have that support. So I find personally that sharing your struggle more and being more upfront and honest with people with what you're going through is just real life and people can relate to that. Um, I also, it's a decision that I make, you know, since this has happened to focus on positive things that are gonna make me feel good. It's a decision that I am choosing to listen to, for example, personal development, AKA self-help, that is going to make me feel better about myself. Um, it's a decision to listen to those things, to fill my mind with this positivity and to still remain hopeful for the future. And so when you have tough times that come your way, um, just like I have, because we're all human, it's going to happen. It's okay, feel, feel the hurt, feel the pain, um, go through it, but also be hopeful for the future and it's also been really helping me too to really focus on what I have to be thankful and grateful for because no matter how bad your situation sucks for you right now with whatever you're going through, there is always still something that you can be thankful for. And so for me, like when I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking about how I have a beautiful and healthy five-year-old and four-year-old at home that like I can kiss their cheeks whenever I want to. 
I can get hugs from them and love from them and they can make me laugh and they can make me happy and I'm thankful that I have them right now and that I have a healthy, happy family as much as I want to grow it. It just is not the right time right now. But I'm choosing and making the decision even though it's hard to do that. It's really hard, guys, to focus on positivity or just to be positive in general when life throws you crap, isn't it? It's so hard. But I have to make a conscious choice and a decision to force myself to focus on those things so I can keep moving one step forward. Because the truth of the matter is, there are people out there that have it way worse than me. Just like you, the situation that you're in now, you can say that with anything in life. Somebody else out there has it way worse. So try to look for the try to look for the things to be grateful for, even when you're going through tough times. Try to continue to remain hopeful. Try to put your trust in the fact that things happen for a reason, the way that they're supposed to happen in life. And then fill your mind and fill your life with people and things that support you and make you feel good and are going to help you through those tough times. Those are things that have been really helping me. So um, anyways, thanks again guys so much for your support and for all your really super sweet messages. It means so much to me. And um, I am going to head in now to pick up Landon and I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. All right. Bye guys.